This morning I was reading through Psalm 61. And it's actually a song for stringed instruments. And the note before the song actually says that it's of David. And the lyrics go something like this. Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you are my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me abide in your tent forever. And when the author says abide, he's actually tapping into the Old Testament language from Exodus, where God instructed Moses how to build the tabernacle, to build this tent of worship, and God goes camping with his people. There's a lot going on right now. And many of us long to find shelter and protection in God's presence. And of course, we know that God's presence is everywhere and we can experience that at any time. And yet for many of us, that presence, that experience, the place that we've worshiped and gathered and fellowshiped so many times has been here at the building on East Arriva. We long to gather with one another. But right now, we're removed from that place. And so I'm outside of the building, and we have this table set up outside in the shade. And so if you need a, a place to go and sit in the shade to have a sense of God's protection and shelter, there are a few places around the grounds here on East Ariba that you can come and you can just be, you can sit and feel that presence of God. If you want to stop and talk with me, that's great. And I invite you to let me know that you're coming, and I'd love to sit out at this table and just get to talk with you and just share some fellowship with you. If you just want to come and you want to sit outside by yourself, that's wonderful too. You know, after verse 4, there's this interesting word that shows up. And we don't actually translate it in our Bibles. And the, the word is Selah. And we're not actually sure what this word means. Some people think that it's a musical term. Maybe it's something like crescendo or decrescendo. Maybe it's instructions for the choir that would have sung this song. But most often what I've heard that it means is something like stop and think about it. And maybe that's because we just don't know what the word is. And so it invites us to pause to reflect on the word, to reflect on the phrases and the lyrics of this beautiful song. And so I invite you to come to find places, to find time, to just stop and think about God's protection, God's providence, and God's love. If you'd like to come and meet here, the space is open. We can meet outside and we can talk with one another. Grace and peace. Have a great week, Spring Creek.